What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another free lesson Friday. I'm Chris Stick Smather with Sticks It to the Man Percussion. I'm going to get right into it. So, a long time ago, my old man, or the guy that I consider to be like a father to me for a long time, was the leader of the band that I grew up playing with. And he wrote a theme song for our band. It's kind of a, you know, big band, jazz, funk, rock kind of a song. I don't know. But uh, he wrote it and arranged it, and yeah, it turned out to be a really cool song that we uh, played for our first song for every gig that we played for like 16 years until he passed away. Um, but when we were working on this and uh, he wanted to get some drums in there, um, he said that he just wanted me to come up with a beat that followed the bass line um, and then bring in a fill to bring the horns in. So I said, okay, well, let me hear the bass line. So the bass line was something like, doom, 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 doom. So I started playing along with that, and I just came up with, you know, a pattern that a lot of us have heard. It's a pretty common one. Sounds like this. And then the fill in there, I put in. And he said, no, that's too long. He said, it needs to be shorter than that. So I was like, okay, well, how about instead of something so simple, you know, maybe I'll try, uh, you know, kind of an easy chop that's quicker. And then a crash back on the one to come back into the beat. So the, uh, the chop that I kind of came up with is pretty simple. It's a right hand on the tom. Then you come down for a flam, but it's like an accented flam where you're going to roll that right hand a little bit first with a rim shot on the back beat. Something like that. So then at the end of that, you're going to add a kick drum right after that crack. Like that. And then another kick and crash to bring the horns in, and it sounded something like this. And then the horns came in right there, and that was the one to bring me back to the groove. So anyway, the main beat of this groove is eighth notes on the hi-hat, one and three on your kick drum, I'm playing that a little fast, um, and then uh, the this is where it gets a little bit tricky for new drummers out there. Um, the snare part actually runs on a 16th note scale. So it's going to be on 2 and 4, like a regular 8th note beat, but it also plays... i got to think here. Let's see. If you count it as a 16th note, even though you're playing hi-hats here, this is what will help you get your parts in for the snare drum part. So it's counted... So it's counted one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a so one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a so that's the way when I came up with this um how I counted it out to myself, um, you know, to be able to pass on what I was kind of doing. Um, and then I also put some little accents in and some other bass notes and stuff to the actual song and to the groove. But simply, it's played, so if we're playing with the kick drum on one and three. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So then on the end of two, or no, I'm sorry, if you play that three measures through, on the fourth measure, you're going to play one and two and. Now it's very slow. So now if I put the whole thing together, it sounds like this. It's like 
like that. So that was the rhythm, and then it gets pretty funky after that, speeds up and stuff. But it's a, it's a cool, cool one, cool new groove that comes from an original song uh, that I actually came up with using simple beats and fills and chops that, you know, that I learned over the years. So I thought I would share it with all of you wonderful people, and I just ask you to play around with it, you know, work on it. It's kind of cool. Put your own flair to it, add some other fills, add some accents in when you're playing that beat. chop fill it's kind of neat you can use that really anywhere that needs a little little extra something but not a full-out single stroke fill it's just a cool one and you can kind of put it anywhere i think it sounds cool on the low tom to the to the snare it just gives a real power kind of a sound and then comes right back on that crash which would be your one to come back into the group so Share it if you dig it. Like this video. Give me some comments. Let me know what else you might want to see or something that you are working on that you're just not getting your coordination right or anything. Be glad to help. Um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, share. We'll see you next video.